the government wants to promote abortion and contraception, sterilization, but instead of just increasing taxes and doing whatever it wants to do, it wants me to be part of it. It wants you to be part of it. When is it morally permissible for me to abide by an unjust law? The 2000 year institution being changed in one year by Obama, right? And this is arrogance. It's one of the cases in which the law should be challenged. The government cannot do whatever it wants. Uh, who knows where we are going if we just close our eyes? Businessmen are called to be heroes. Freedom of religion was one of the liberties most cherished by the founders of American government. Congress cannot pass laws that uh, prohibit the free exercise of religion. This is important. This is a new religious test. You have to have a compelling state interest and use the least restrictive means. If you don't, then you've got to give an exemption. You tell me, what is the government interest that explains why you give the exemption to one group and not to the other? Hostility to certain religious groups that have certain religious ideas. I mean, this is a, basically a way of excluding religions that actively involve themselves in public activities. What is behind this whole issue? I mean, what has led to this HHS mandate and the controversy surrounding it? It is very striking that a U.S. You know, presidential administration has decided to engage in what can only be called a direct assault on the Catholic Church. The forces that are aligned against the church and traditional morality, and which endanger the capacity of Catholics and other Christians to participate in public life, instead of confining their religious beliefs to their own private world. Catholics and others must rise to this occasion, insisting that they will not be shut out of our national debate and decision-making. They have to respond to the call to participate in public life and to articulate fundamental principles of morality and justice in the public square. They have to make known the truth that sets men free. We need to educate our employees what's going on. That American dream is disappearing. The government is forcing individuals and organizations to go out into the marketplace and buy a product that violates their conscience, their religious beliefs, and their teachings. How can they do that? It's just wrong. Rights does not replace conscience. Rights without responsibility destroys future rights. Responsibility without any rights destroys, guess what? Rights. This great experiment of liberty is bound to fail unless the people are virtuous. We are more than just Americans. We are children of God who have been blessed with living in this great nation. I don't think we know how good we have it here in America, and we do take it for granted. We are losing our moral compass. Our job, I think, as business owners, we are called to educate and form consciences. Catholic social teaching does not fit perfectly into any particular party. Here's the problem for the government. The government itself recognizes that the HHS mandate imposes a substantial burden. So the government can hardly with a straight face say, this can never be a substantial burden on someone when the government itself has recognized that it is a substantial burden by granting exemptions. But I want to run my business in a way that at least is consistent with my Catholic or whatever religious beliefs. The government's saying you don't have a right to do that. That I think it is one of the many things that makes this worth challenging by the private employers. And uh, I would encourage those of you who are private employers to consider getting involved at that level and really be the kind of heroes that I think we really need in this country at this time. That's what's really scary about this. Um, and I think that's why it has to be challenged. 